Hello, Northwoods. Day 12 of our 21-day fast. Great to have you tuning in with us today. And I want to remind you that just because we've already started and we're over halfway through doesn't mean you cannot invite people to jump in and join us. If this time's been a blessing to you, then why not encourage others to jump in and experience the joy of pursuing the Lord? This week we've been looking at six hindrances to prayer. We've talked about wrong motives, sin, idolatry, and today we're gonna to talk about another hindrance. It's the fifth hindrance, which is unforgiveness. Let's look at a passage of scripture in Mark chapter 11. Jesus said, and when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. I want you to see here that when we choose not to forgive, it can hinder our prayers. When you're praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. Now, why does forgiveness hinder our prayers? Well, not only because God asks us to extend the same grace towards others that he extends toward us, but I want you to notice that word hold in the verse. It says, if you hold anything against anyone. When we're walking in unforgiveness, we are walking around holding on to offense, bitterness, and resentment. In fact, I find it interesting that many places in the New Testament, the Greek word that we translate offense can mean to stumble or trip, kind of like a stumbling stone. So think of an offense as a stumbling stone. And when we get offended and trip over those stones, what do we do? Many times we pick them up and carry them around with us. But when we're carrying around all the offense, bitterness, resentment, our hands are full. And if our hands are full, will we be able to receive anything else? No, because we can't receive until we lay those offenses down and release them. When our hands are full holding on to unforgiveness, we lack the ability to receive. So let me ask you a couple of questions today. Are there any offenses you're hanging on to? Is there anyone you need to forgive? If so, let me walk you through five simple steps to forgiveness. We walk through this in our freedom class here at Northwoods, our freedom weekend, I should say. Step one, open your heart. So start by agreeing with God and saying, Father, I now choose to open my heart, to forgive the person who has hurt me. Then step, step two is extend compassion towards the person who hurt you. So you start by opening your heart and then you extend compassion. This is not to excuse the person or deny what they did or pretend it didn't hurt. It is to understand that hurt people hurt people. And when we understand the wounds and torment others were carrying in their own hearts, we're better able to understand why they did what they did and how much they need the grace of God. Then step three is forgive the person for each wound. So pray in the name of Jesus, I choose to forgive. You list their name and then say four. List everything you need to forgive as if you're releasing each of those stones one by one you've been carrying. And then step four is release the person from your heart prison. Imagine yourself standing in front of a dark cell in your heart, unlocking it and walking the person up the stairs and into the sunlight of freedom. And then step five is you pray God's blessing over the person's life. Now, we walk through forgiveness quickly today, but I think it'd be helpful for each of us to take some extended time during this fast and reflect on whether or not there is anyone we need to forgive. If there is, I would encourage you to come back to this throughout the fast and walk through the steps we just outlined above so you can open your hands to be able to receive from the Lord. Praying God's blessing over you today, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.